Welcome back. We are doing the rear shocks on this 2002 Chevy Tahoe. I've already done the other side and we're going to get started on this one. And it wasn't too bad. So I'll show you a couple of tricks and so maybe some things not to do. So, all right. Okay, first off, we're going to move this splash shield out of the way. three seven millimeter screws and this will pop out of here that's got a little clip it hangs right there and you just kind of roll that out of the way so what we're after here is this nut now on the back side of this there's a bolt bolt comes through this way and you have your bolt here or nut rather sorry and this back one's a little tough to get to. You can't really get a wrench on there. There's no room. So what I found was a, what's this called, a crowfoot wrench. This is a 13 sixteenths crowfoot wrench. And what I did was just kind of put this up here. And there's not enough clearance behind there for that to spin all the way around. So it kind of locks in place. holds the bolt. So let's see if it works on this side. There we go. And be careful, that is not a place to leave your fingers because it will not feel good. All right, so this side, the bottom, is a little bit more challenging. There's a um, parking brake cable in the way, so I think I'm just going to use a uh, ratchet. So let me go get a ratchet, and I'll turn this camera around and show you the bottom. Okay, on this side, there's not enough clearance to get the impact in here. I'm just going to use a ratchet. Do it old school. So while you're under here, it's a good time to look for any other things that might need attention leaks, anything like that. So I'm going to get up top and put the shock in. Right, so let's get the old shock out. That bolt just pulls out and get the top. goes. And the shock is dead. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so when I say the shock is dead, when you compress it, there's just nothing there. It should rebound. It should push back out. This one's got a odd movement, so this is definitely trash and contributing to poor ride. Yeah, it's dead, totally. All right, so let's get the new one in. It's good to leave the strap on because sometimes it's hard to get one end started if it's already out all the way. They're a little bit difficult to uh, compress when they're in here. And the bell, you know, the bell part goes down, the open part goes down. If you install it this way, it would hold water. <clears throat> it may not even fit that way anyway, but yeah, the bell goes up towards the top.
Okay, so there's that uh, bottom bolt. Get the nut started. And I want to have the top bolt kind of ready. Just ready to go. So I can grab it. So what I'll do is go ahead and cut that strap. See, that's going to start expanding up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, top bolt. Okay, I'm going to tighten these up and uh, wrap it up. Okay, that wraps this one up. The rear shocks are done. Uh, if you want to see how the front shocks are put on, I've got another video for that. And of course, uh, the exhaust leak, we fixed that earlier today. There's a video for that as well. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Mm.